Hey, what's up everyone? I'm sure a lot of you newcomers to Photoshop are wondering how do I get or even find brushes for Photoshop for all my projects or whatnot? Well, the answer is simple. There's a one-stop place to go for everything that you're ever going to need for Photoshop or any of the other programs like any of the other Adobe programs that you see. Um, I, I believe they even support GIMP and it's the website is called deviantart.com and um, you have to go to deviantart.com but deviantart is pretty much the place where digital masters or just art enthusiasts or even well, how do you say hobbyists come and they share their work they show off and they share love amongst each other in the community um, from their own artwork or personally made templates or brushes to share with everyone else. So once you go to deviantart.com, which you can see the address above right here, you're going to come down to the bottom left of the page and you're going to go to resources and stock images. Once there, you're going to go to application resources. Then down to Photoshop brushes. Now this website has brushes like you wouldn't believe. It's it's immense. So once here, you're gonna type in what kind of brushes you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for oh I don't know um smoke. Type in smoke, and you're gonna get all kinds of smoke images, smoke brushes already already um, made for Photoshop pretty much you just import them so let's say you want just for the sake of this video um, snowflakes well there you go you got some snowflakes so the next part of this video is gonna be how to install brushes okay so you found a brush that you like and you clicked on it this is pretty much the page that you're going to get. Whatever the icon looked like, it's going to pop up here. I picked this one because I just think that this image right here in itself is artistically beautiful. It's just, it really caught my eye. So pretty much what you're looking for is, um, well, I guess I'll just give you some advice before I show you how to download. Um, the least you could do. Um, since you're borrowing people's artwork and who knows maybe even making a profit off of it is check what they check what they wrote check their description of it make sure that they don't have any copyright protection on it make sure you read their terms of service um, some people allow you to use their artwork for free um, as long as you're not making any profit off of it they kind of expect if you're gonna make profit off of it um, to give them a little bit of reimbursement or you know pay them for their contribution so um, make sure you respect that um, and always always say thank you or what you think of their work you know help support art artists and um, yeah I think that's that's about it um, yeah so to download you're usually gonna go unless it changes towards the end of the year maybe or whatever but at this point in time it's on the right side you should see download file you pretty much click it it gets taken down here you're gonna wait for it to download depending on your browser your download will be different but we're gonna open Photoshop now give it a second to load so now that Photoshop's open we're gonna try to import the brush so that we can then use it now this goes for every single brush that's compatible with Photoshop so what we're going to do is we're going to type B, but since the B button on my keyboard doesn't work, we're going to go to our brushes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click, so we can go to our brushes options, click on the little gear right here, go to load brushes. Then we're going to go to, for me it's downloads, but I guess I'll just do this, weather warp okay because that's one of the brushes I've downloaded previously and as you can see we have our brush now 
you're going to want to change your foreground color to something more visible. Lower thing and click. And there we go. Let me change my opacity. There we go. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got my um, brush to resize without going into the options, it's actually the key that's above your enter and to the left of, oh, I don't know, what would you call that? I'll just put it on the screen for you guys. Um, you click those two buttons and it pretty much resizes your brushes without actually having to right click and resize and then check, oh that's too big, that's too small, you know. You can pretty much just scroll with it. So that's how you find, download and install brushes and use them. So I hope this helped you guys, um, peace and much love. And as always, check out my other videos. And if you really like my channel and what I provide for you, uh, feel free to subscribe, leave some comments, like the videos. Just all around show some love. Peace.